Hello there, my name is Ricardo Ferreira and I'm a developer advocate with Elastic. Welcome to the Elastic Community Channel. Today I would like to start a new conversation with you regarding another beat that is part of the Elastic stack. This is part of a series of conversations that I've started a while ago, focusing on the Beats family. So far, we've discussed the file beat and metric beat. If for some reason you've missed those ones, please follow the link below so you can have access to the previous conversations. Also, make sure to sign up for the Elastic Community channel so you will never miss a, you know, a beat regarding any of these conversations. Today, we're going to start discussing Heartbeat, the beat that is responsible for handling uptime configuration. So welcome! to another episode of everything you always wanted to know about heartbeat, but you were too afraid to ask. One of the most important characteristics that applications need to provide these days is a good customer experience. A good customer experience is important because this is the factor that will indicate if a user that is consuming a product or a service from a company will continue to do so because they enjoyed what they did. But how do you actually translate a good customer experience into your software development process? Well, there are a bunch of building blocks and metrics that you need to consider, but here is one that is extremely important to this, availability. Availability is the process of understanding the uptime of your systems, services, and of your data. Ensuring availability of those will make sure that by the time a user initiates a transaction or some journey in your service or product, they're going to be able to finish those and not have that bad experience of, oops, nothing is working right now, so come back later. Perhaps for that company, there won't be any later. Availability is important, and the way you measure this is collecting heartbeats of core systems and services and data. By periodically collecting those heartbeats, you can store them into a highly scalable, durable store such as Elasticsearch, and then you can analyze those heartbeats later using Kibana. This is fundamentally what we are going to be discussing here today. The Elastic Stack provides a very easy to use solution for you to gather data related to heartbeats. It's called Heartbeat. Heartbeat is a lightweight agent that you can install in your servers and containers and is capable of periodically collecting heartbeat information and send this to any configured outputs. There is out-of-the-box integration with the remaining of the Elastic Stack. For example, it is almost effortlessly for you to send data from Heartbeat to Elasticsearch because there's an output that is available for you out of the box. Also, all the information collected from Heartbeat, it is into a format that Kibana can easily understand, so you won't have any problems by going to Kibana and looking up to that data. Also, all the resources that entails the experience of analyzing that data, which is the visualizations and dashboards that you would need to have on Kibana, they will be automatically created by Heartbeat. So Heartbeat is an end-to-end complete solution for you to not only gather the data, but also to process, store, and analyze it. Besides the visualizations and dashboards that Heartbeat can automatically create for Kibana, there is this built-in app on Kibana called Uptime. The Uptime app allows users very effortlessly to see in one place everything related to availability for their systems and services. A very good piece of information that can be collected by Heartbeat is information about geolocation. So if you configure Heartbeat to associate a given location to the system that being probed regarding Heartbeat, you can correlate this information here and start checking th things like whether a given availability of a location is impacting another. Another piece of 
information that you can configure Heartbeat to collect is information regarding the expiration of SSL certificates. So you can very easily see here in the Uptime app how soon a given certificate is going to expire. Because ultimately all the information collected by Heartbeat is going to become a time series data stored in Elasticsearch, you can start analyzing this availability information here across time and start building a more concrete understanding regarding the availability of your services and systems. Eventually, you are also going to learn that this Uptime app has a tight integration with the remaining machine learning features that are available in the Elastic Observability solution. By using the machine learning features from Elastic, you can actually let the machine learning jobs analyzing this time series data for you automatically, and they can build up a concrete understanding about availability and how frequently or how often a certain service is going to be up or down. Heartbeat is also very flexible in terms of which network protocols you can use to start probing liveness information from your systems and services. It currently supports three protocols, HTTP, ICMP, and TCP. Support for HTTP is important because likely you're going to have some services that are exposed over HTTP, such as REST. Other times, you might want to collect liveness information from systems that not necessarily respond via HTTP, but for some reason they expose ICMP over a given port, and then guess what? You can simply ping them. There will be other services that might be exposed over a very specific TCP protocol, such as, for example, GRCP. All of this builds up a very comprehensive ways for you to check for liveness of your systems and services and therefore collect all the information regarding liveness into the configured output. Heartbeat is also very flexible in terms of deployment topologies. A very basic example would be deploying Heartbeat as an agent on top of a bare metal host in a given infrastructure. Or, if you are using virtualization, it could be deployed as an agent into a VM that sits on top of a virtualized hypervised environment. However, there might be other cloud-native, more modern architectures out there that are built on top of the concept of containers, or they are being executed on top of Kubernetes clusters. For those situations, Heartbeat can be installed on the underlying infrastructure that are sustaining all the containers. So by using the concept of events, Heartbeat can automatically detect all the container instances that are being executed on top of the infrastructure and not necessarily be deployed in the container itself. Ultimately, you can also include Heartbeat as part of the container image. So by the time you spin up, your container applications, guess what? Heartbeat will be there. What matters is that there are multiple options for you to use. As you might have guessed at this point, Heartbeat is an amazing and very interesting technology that you should use in your infrastructure to start probing information regarding availability from your systems and services and ship them into Elasticsearch where you would be able to understand better their availability performance and how much uptime they can provide. Stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to discuss how to download, install, and configure Heartbeat to probe information regarding availability from systems and services and to ship them into Elasticsearch so we can furthermore analyze it with Kibana. My name is Ricardo Ferreira, and I'm looking forward to continue this conversation with you the next time. See you there.